bitch and me folded what? Never that boy, can't lead a kill without the drugs and the gap no. boy If I win this connect baby, yeah that's on my back boy, get ear to the max boy Finny that's a fact boy, I'm from a place where it's dark outside Them late nights you can't walk outside, bullets got the names on them Hit you when your homeboys ride, as your mom shed a tears and she wondering why Uptown double H, man it's be the five, MP in the cut, yeah we get it live Ay. Moses can't go to any hood, but connect some could, baby, some hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab MPY used to be uh-huh. Pay Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, till I couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain bottle with a gin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Nice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. Hey, I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to tell my L's to 100. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. What's up, everybody? Hope y'all had a great sleep, great nap, whatever. Whenever y'all watching this video, good morning. What's up? What's up? What's up? So it is 8 11 a.m. You know I'm a morning person. A girl be on the go. Brushed hair, lashes on, eyebrows fixed and gelled up, teeth brushed, face washed, ass clean, neck fan, check. We got on the workout gear, check. Because we are going to wear, where we going? Hello, I can't hear you, what? Where we go? Ooh, where we go? Ooh, we're going to the gym, okay? I'm just going to give y'all the excitement that I would like to have while driving to the gym and walking up in that motherfucker because I don't know about y'all, but I did say I enjoyed myself. However, I'm not saying like it's the best thing since sliced bread. I'm definitely not saying I want to be there all day, every day. <laughs> I'm definitely not saying that. But I'm glad that I have a place to go to that I can afford and relax, release, and revive and try to make it look like it's live, honey. What's up? What's up? But yeah, so I'm going to the gym and it's early in the morning. And I, you know what? Positive energies, positive energies to the universe, positive energies out there to you guys. Who wants to wake up on the wrong side of the bed, under the motherfucking bed, on the floor? Like, listen. If you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, please don't bring that bullshit to my channel because over here we try to have 99.9% positivity, okay? I like positivity. You know, as we get older, I felt, I don't know about as we, because I'm not about to clue y'all in my in my journey of positive, positivity, but I felt like as I got older, my, my attitude has changed a little bit. True indeed, I'm still a rude, nasty bitch because I can always bring, you know, Rashida out or whatever you want to call her, okay? Ava, Ava, who knows? But listen, as i gotten older, I'm a little bit more nicer to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will let you ease on past with the bullshit sometimes not always but sometimes right you know it takes a little bit longer for me to get angry and then probably to like get like hostile like really really over the top it probably ain't too far from that because you didn't already made me angry so what the fuck but I just realized that as I got older, I gave you a little bit more leeway to be a jackass. You know, if you want to be a dumb fuck, I'll give you a little bit more rope to hang yourself with as I got older. Like, I'm not really going to jump on you because you are really a jerk or an asshole. Like, you know, that's what we do when we're younger. But as I've gotten older, I've given people more chances of being idiots. There are, you know why? You have to realize that in this world that we live in, there are lots of them. There are lots of idiots. There are lots of assholes, jackasses, dumb fucks, fuck boys, whatever you want to call them. There's lots of them, even dumb bitches, okay? I just realized as I've gotten older, I don't go off as much. At least I try not to. I don't think I do. Maybe I'm wrong. And who do, who am I to say? Why am I judging my own motherfucking self, okay? Let's just put it like that. But there are parking spaces all lined up here, which means not too many people are at the gym, which means they asses is at work, which means there's no reason why you should be standing right next to me on the motherfucking treadmill when there are 20 of them available. I know y'all like, bitch, what you talking about? So the other days, you know what? I don't know, maybe because it's me and I'm 40-something years old, y'all. If y'all know how old I am, then I don't really have to repeat the full number to you. But 
it might just be me. I'm going to hurry up and have this conversation with y'all because I'm in a parking spot and I'm at the gym and I really don't want to be too long, okay? Okay, so there was this show when I was a kid, a teen kid, a, a kid called Candy Camera. And people would be caught on camera doing shit. They would be, it would be like jokes to them. And then they'd be like, you're on Candy Camera, smile, you're on Candy Camera. Like, oh, okay, bitch, because if I wasn't, you'd got fucked up. That's the type of shit it was, all right? So that's sometimes I'd be thinking like, am I on a camera or something somewhere around here? Because there's no way that this could be going on and you don't think you're going to get a reaction out of some someone. So I'm at the gym the other day. And um, it's early in the morning because, like I said, I go early in the morning after I drop the kids off. So nobody is here. So when I go in, there's like, I want to say there's a probably about lined up. They're all in a row. There's probably about 20, 25 treadmills all lined up right here at the gym at EOS Fitness. EOS Fitness. So I go to the, to the treadmill at the very end. When I say the very end, like there's the floor right there. There's nothing on the left side of me. And it's either I go to that side or go to the right. I just, I don't know. I just like to be at the at the end. Um, and it, it was on the left. And for some reason, it has to be on the left. When I'm on the plane, I got to sit by the left side of the window. I don't know, but that's just me. So when I got on the treadmill, I was at the very end. And then there was probably like 10 or 12 spaced emptied and then there was a lady on one and then there was a lady at another one all the way at the end so it was only like three of us on the machine so i had my headphones on and i was watching that show ready to love and you know i zoned out like i was really into it so i didn't really see if anybody else had gotten onto the machine until this man had got on right next to me when i say right next to me bitch right motherfucking next to me like it looked like we was a couple that's that's how right next to me he was he was on the very next machine so when i looked up and i seen him over next to me i was like oh it must have got crowded in here so i'm like this looking around him and then i was like this looking behind him and then i was like Why the fuck is he right next to me? Yo, I looked around this man like two times. Like, why the fuck is you right next to me? Like, this mad fucking... <laughs> why is you right next to me? So now I'm like looking around like, is this a joke? Like, why the fuck is he standing next to me? And so he looked at me and I looked at him like, don't even think about it, buddy. Then I see the nigga... Why is you watching what I'm watching on my motherfucking phone? Your goddamn treadmill got a whole screen on it to watch a show. And the TV's all around. So why the fuck is you trying to watch this black show while I'm trying to watch this shit? Man, keep your eyes to yourself. Like, there wasn't... Why did he... Why? Why the fuck did he have to be right next to me? Yo, it's still COVID. You don't have to be next to me. Why is you right next to me? I guess after the way I looked at him several times and looked around him, he probably was like, I'm not even gonna mess with this black bitch today. I'm not even gonna try to say nothing to her. Because he gave me that look, and I looked at him like, don't even think about it, buddy, because you can move your ass down several fucking treadmills, okay? If I had my goddamn taser, I'd tase the fuck out of you in the gym. Yeah, he, he was right, right there. I, I don't really understand why. But I thought it was like a candy camera type of joke thing. What I tell you about people that can't drive here. This crazy bitch then drove up like three times in this parking spot. Like, girl, do you know how to park your shit? Just don't hit my shit, okay? Just please don't hit my shit. Because my workout would be on your ass today. Yeah, anyway, so positivity. I just say positivity, right? So I don't really know why he was so close to me, but I'll tell y'all what, it's positive vibes, positive vibes. And that's what I'm going to keep while I walk up in this gym. Got my workout equipment on, my workout equipment. Like I got equipment, you know, I just got on my, my, my compression socks, my old lady socks, my old lady socks. Woo -woo. All right, you guys. So I'll see you afterwards. Uh, I guess this is my my normal morning routine because I don't. It's a cute little car. It's also low to the ground. It's a Honda. My ass will never be able to get up. Um, I guess it's gonna be my normal routine. Only Monday through Fridays. I don't do this shit on the weekends because I'd be too tired and sore. And plus, I got other things to do. Like, so I guess I will see y'all when I um see y'all. Yeah.
So y'all wanna see y'all, that sounds so cute. So this is what you call glistening, glistening, honey, glistening right now. Right now I'm hungry, I'm starving, my legs hurt, okay, like they literally hurt, you know, I was working those legs, booty muscles, stuff like that, treadmill, got crowded after a while, it was glistening, shoulders was glistening and stuff, yes, I felt like when, when you be glistening, that's when you know you're doing something, so yes, I want to get something to eat, I'm hungry, but um, I got food at home, so I'm gonna eat what I got at home. Ooh, child. That was a good workout. My daughter, Nay, was at the dentist while I was working out. She had to get her wisdom tooth pulled out. I know for me, once I had my wisdom teeth um, removed, girl, that's how I started getting all those gaps in my teeth. And that's not everybody, like, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody has that problem. But I seem to be the one that always got the issues for anything. Anything bad gonna happen, it's gonna happen to April. Like, serious. If it if it ain't happening to you, trust me, it's gonna find its way over to me. So, yes, I hope she don't have that issue with her teeth separating. But I'm about to go home. I look a hot, sweaty mess. Yes, my hair is all sweaty. I'm about to brush it up, go clean myself up. But I feel good, honey. I feel good. Look at my little rosy face. I feel, I definitely feel good. You know, I cannot complain. I feel worked out. You know what I'm saying? I feel worked out. Like I was working it out, you know? I feel alive. Tomorrow morning, I gotta go to the main doctor, okay? And my legs, my legs have really been hurting. Um, I can feel where she's talking about with that um, medication settling in my muscles. My leg has been, especially my right leg, it, leg at the calf bar, it has been so sore, like sore to the touch. And it's not from working out, it's from, you know, my treatment. So it's really bad, it hurts. Hopefully they could do something about it because I, I'm starting to regret it now. But um, that's all I'm gonna do, you know. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have me something to eat. I did have a breakfast drink, which was these. I love these, these are so good. Um, that's about it, that's about it. I gotta upload a video in a few minutes too when I get home. So that's my day, um, yeah, my big forehead. Um, but that's about it. It's 10 o'clock exactly right now. I'm doing good. Uh, I ain't had no incidents with nobody, you know what I'm saying? But anybody, I'm doing good. Um, what can I say? What can I complain about? I woke up this morning. You know what I'm saying? So I wish many blessings to all you guys that have a really great day. They think they about to get in front of me, but that's not about to happen. I can't stand when people drive like erratically out here. Like I, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep complaining, but I'm not, I'm not gonna have you drive up in the back of my fucking car. Then you want to get around me and try to speed up and get in front of me. That's not gonna happen neither because I will speed the fuck up a little bit just so you can't get in front of me okay I'll be on some real petty shit like that I did say this morning that I was going to be positive and I don't let too much bother me but that bothers me okay that bothers me and you got a whole motherfucking canoe like a mini canoe on your goddamn top of your your fear 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 is that how you say it you're not about to jump in front of me with that little ass car with that fucking canoe on the top of it what are we doing at that stay behind me buddy and stop trying to drive up me but anyway, positive vibes. We got to be nice to people because sometimes these people that we have to be nice to maybe um, might have to help us. I'm, I'm not I'm not saying the person with the canoe, but we just got to be respectable to people because we never know where we may land. But just don't let people irritate your last goddamn nerves. That's what I always try to say. Be positive. But I love you all. I hope you all have like an amazing day. Many blessings to all you guys. Have a great day. Enjoy it. Don't let nobody get you out of your good zone. Okay? And on that note, I will see y'all in the next one. Okay?